Hey what is going on guys and welcome to another Twister League video. So in this one we are claiming so many points. So let's start off with 250 points from 25 million fletching. That will give me over 14k points. So let's uh, complete this right now. Chat box, 25 million fletching experience for 250 points. Nice. Okay, here we go. Look on the counter up here. 3, 2, 1... Boom, 84,000 experience. Holy shit. Oh, uh, that is so much experience. You can actually stack it up like infinitely, I do think. Because you can see here on the top left, it uh, counts down every single time you make a new wine. And it does count in the wines you have in your bank. So if I do this, I keep doing it. Cancel my bank. Keep doing it. Six seconds left. Boom, reset. And I can just keep doing this. And then I will get a massive experience drop in the end. So... I'm going to do this for a while now. I'm not going to do all of them because I have to go in uh, just a bit, but let's see how big we can get an experience drop to be. So after this inventory, I have to leave for a bit in real life. So let's see how much experience I will get. I think it's over 300 wines. So I hope this is going to be 80 cooking. Let's uh, put them into the bank. 334 wines. The experience is going to drop in six seconds. I really hope this is going to be over 80 cooking. Okay, quite an experience drop incoming here. 668, just barely 80 cooking, I think. Yeah, just barely 80. That means I can cook sharks, by the way, and I think I have some of them. Okay, I have nine. Never mind, that's not that many. But uh, yeah, that's only 376 of the wines, and I still have 785 to make. So this will be my last experience drop. Look at this, one second left. 842,000 experience, and I ended up on 86 cooking. So 99 cooking is definitely a possibility in the near future. Another huge point drop, 250 for just entering the highest tier of the farming guild. Really easy points. So quickly going to open 8 masters and I will get, I think, 250 points for doing this because I will get to 25 masters. I actually really want a mimic as well, so hopefully I can get that on these last 3 that I have now because that's another 100 points. Obsidian Cape R. Uh, not sure if that's useful for anything, but uh, there we go. That's all the masters. Unfortunately, no mimic and that is 250 points additionally. So I'm going to get 750 points very soon. I need 1 million experience left in attack, strength and defense each. So when I get that, I'm going to get 325 millions, which is going to be 750 points. I'll record the superiors. This is the first one. Um, brimstone key on that one and I obviously want these totem pieces as well for maybe a scotizo pet or something like that. Second superior, of course uh, an imbued heart would be very nice as well because that it's uh, I think 100 points so you can always hope. Okay here we go this is going to be I think the bl last blood veld before I get my 25 millions. There we go, two of them and then I think maybe one more hit and I will get the last one. There we go. 750 points from that and I am also very close as you can see almost uh, just above 1 million experience left for 500 points for the 50 mil hit points. Third superior and 800,000 experience left on the hit points until I get the 500 points from that. Let's see and and sold bloodheads as well obviously you always get them from this and I would get quite a lot of them. I had some chins in my bank, so thought I would do a jelly task and look at these experience drops. I actually want to get 100 million ranged because uh, it's actually very fast of a skill and uh, you can get 500 points from that as well. And I'm already at almost 70 mil, so not too far to go actually. Okay, so this is going to be 87 farming and why I'm still doing farming is not mainly for 99 farming. I do want to get 99 farming, but I actually mainly want to get 90 because at 90 you can plant a redwood tree and I already have the seed. And when you check the health of the redwood tree, which um, you need to use like six dragon fruits to uh, make sure it actually won't die. And I do have that because uh, I've been planting these uh, dragon fruit trees. I will get 250 points for just checking the health of that redwood tree in the future. I have a lot of points, so I'm going to be buying a rune pouch. Pretty good for bringing Alex to Slayer tasks and stuff like that, so always good to have one. Gonna do Architectural Alliance, and you need 100% favor in all the different houses for it, so I'll be handing in the bu- Oh, come on, dude, I need 2% more. Okay, this time I will get 100% Priscarelius favor, and then after this I'm going to do the Lova Kenj one, and then I can complete the quest. So I put a counter up on the top right to see how much smithing experience I got from this grind and quite a lot is the answer. 300,000 and uh, also some mining experience as well. 73 mining and 77 smithing and that is all the houses at 100% now. 
Okay, so Architectural Alliance done for 50 League points, and I, if I teleport with the, the Xerx Talisman here, I will complete the task I wanted to do. So I have completed all the hard ones. Let's use the unique lamp as well from the Architectural Alliance quest. 100,000 agility experience. That is some crazy experience. And let's talk to Elise and uh, get quite a lot of League points and also a lot of experience lamps. And of course the current, uh, whatever it's called, current blessing I think, you can get uh, teleports to the Slayer Master and stuff like that. Three per day I think, so let's use all these antique lamps. First is one, 25k agility and 75k agility as well as the last one for 150k agility and we ended on 72 agility. An elite task about to be completed as well, which is just to make a Apatol tab, extremely easy one, and uh, 2000 magic experience as well. All you had to do really was get some runes and get a dark essence block, so very easy task. If we go to the tasks, the only thing I need to do now is do a raid, and that is going to be quite a challenge. So I had six dark totems in the bank, so I thought I would just uh, do it for the chance of getting a pet, and specifically it's like a 10% chance of me getting the pet, because it's 1 in 60 to get it. So let's see if I can do it. Okay, second kill. I mixed up and tried melee. It's maybe a bit better, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to do a few kills more and see how I think it works. Yeah, I do think melee is actually better. I, I hit more consistently on him. So yeah, still third kill and no pet. Okay, fourth kill incoming and this is going to be my number 10th Scotizo overall, which will give me some points. 100 league points actually, that's not bad. And some snapdragons for restores as well, very nice. Fifth kill, so after this one I can only do one more and uh, the pet chance is not looking great right now. I got the dark claws, but unfortunately I can't use them for anything. And the last kill incoming. By the way, I will be able to do more Scotizos in the future as I'm going for 50 mil attack, defense and strength and I will be killing quite a lot of blood velves for that most likely and get more dark totems, so it's not over yet. Some easy points that I could get, a total of 350 is first 100 from getting an adamant ore from the blast mine, which I will get right now. And then I just need to get one more level now in mining and I can get rune ore for 250 more points. You can see 100 points if I move one step. Here we go, this is going to be 75 mining, so now I can get a runite ore for 250 points. Achieved the one runite ore, so let's collect here and get 250 points. Quite a lot of mining experience as well. Doing some Hydra, and that is a double Dragon Bone drop. Very nice. I want to get 25 million prayer maybe in the future. Just killing some normal Hydras to get that 50 million hit points experience for 500 points. Almost at 17k points now. Oh, also a Brimstone key on that kill. And the normal Hydras are actually not that bad for getting the ring pieces. It's uh, twice as rare as from the boss, but they are killed way faster. So it's actually probably faster. Unfortunately, not a useful drop, but uh, the Alchemical Hydra heads... If this was a normal game I would be happy, but for the Twisted League that is completely useless. Another farming level coming in, and it is very close to 90 now, this is 89 farming, so soon we can get that redwood. Oh, I have the Bob shirt, I got it in my last video I think, so the Mystic Robe bottom is actually huge, because now I can do every single elite clue step, so I might be doing some elites later on in this video as well for the milestones. So I completed 8 elites, and when I open all of these I will have another, I think, 100 point task completed, so let's get opening. I don't really want anything specific from these elites, uh, there's a rune crossbow, there's a combat bracelet, I already have it. Uh, so yeah, there's nothing too good that I want from these, maybe planks are pretty good, so yeah, those planks, three dragon some bracelets, that is such a troll now that I have it. Okay, so nothing too special from those, but 25 elites and that is 100 league points. Okay, so this is a very big farming level incoming, 90, which means I can now plant redwood trees, which is 250 points. Another Hispori kill, let's see if we can get the bucket, I would not assume so, I have another seed as well in my inventory, so I can plant another one instantly. But third kill and I get, let's see, um, yeah, no bucket unfortunately, but some chrono seed. Okay, so I've been away for six days and I have been playing RuneScape on my phone quite a bit and I was in the last clip around 17k points and I got 99 woodcutting and got 25 million fire making experience and I got uh, 80 baseline in all stats. So I gained quite a lot of points and my current points are now, oh by the way also I checked the health of a redwood tree, so I'm 18,350 points. 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, put all these items into the bank and I'm going to open all of these crates that I got from Winter Toad. So the thing is, I really want a pet because I have no boss pet and no scaling pet. So hopefully uh, from these, I want a uh, Phoenix pet, but the chance of getting one is uh, obviously very rare. Okay, so first opening, one pair of warm gloves. And uh, I, you can turn all these uh, excessive pieces of the Pyromancer set into new crates. So I will do that in the end. Another pair of gloves and... Okay. Did I just almost get a full set from just 14? I think the only thing that I didn't get is the legs. <laughs> that is very lucky. And I get the legs and the boots! Okay, I, I just got all the items from that already. So I have two sets now full of the Pyromancer set. So I turned the pieces in for crates, so let's see what I get from these, 4k coins, 3 that wow, these are very bad, very very bad. Okay, the last one was a bit better, but uh, unfortunately no pet from all those, which uh, really really sucks. I had two dark totems, so can we please get a pet from Scotiso? that would be very nice. That's a lot of items, but unfortunately not a pet. Another Dark Claw, I have two of them now, but unfortunately they're very useless. Okay, second kill. I don't know if I will get more totems in the future. Maybe I'll try to get one more. I don't know if 15 is actually a milestone, but no pet on the novel number 14th. The pet chance is like 1 in 60, I think. So I'm actually going to do some aerial fishing, not really for the experience, even though the fishing experience is okay that you get. Uh, I'm 94 fishing now, so if I would get 99 fishing from this, that would be some nice points. But look at this, this is the experience I am currently at now that I just started. I really want the golden tench, it's very rare, but 500 points would pretty much secure me in Dragon Tier. So I'll probably spend the rest of my Twisted League time at the Golden Tench place and hopefully get maybe 99 Hunter and 99 Fishing. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the winners for the giveaway that I wanted to do. So the first one is for the three bonds, which is Mr. E. Coleman 1994, who says Merry Christmas, and Queen Noob 23. So that is the winner of the three bonds from my bond giveaway video. So let's now see who wins the two bonds and uh, I will also add a clip of me giving away the bonds in the clip after this. So Ismail Patel is the winner of the two bonds. So Lord ABC and he says Christmas is just uh, another way the elite take more money from you. But yep, that is the winners for the giveaway. Okay, so here is me giving the two bonds to Lord ABC and then I still need to get in contact with uh, Queen Noob 23 to give the three bonds away and I'll just add that in the next video because I've been waiting now for like 10 hours and he hasn't responded yet or he hasn't logged in rather yet. But that is the first two bonds given away and uh, yeah, Queen Noob, anytime you want to claim these three, just contact me. So my current rank is 767 in league points and it is about 1050 people I would say that gets a dragon rank. So I'm like 300 ranks into the dragon tier, which means that I feel like with 8 days left I should be fairly safe. But at the same time a lot of people are probably pushing for points now and uh, maybe have some things up their sleeve to get the last points and uh, actually climb into the dragon tier. So that's why I'm at this aerial fishing thing and I really want to get a golden tench because 500 more points would pretty much 100% cement me into the dragon tier. And then after that I will quit with the twisted league. So there's no more real content here to show in the twisted league overall. And I think I am very happy with how far I got in the twisted league. I think that um, getting the dragon tier was definitely something I really wanted to go for but I wasn't sure how realistic it would be because there's a lot of people who can play this game like all the time and I can play a lot but not as much as uh, a lot of other people can and so I'm very happy with probably getting dragon tier and uh, I just want to say as well that I am fairly experienced now I feel like with uh, what relics are good and what are bad relics for example the treasure hunter relic I picked mostly because in the early game I really wanted some money and I thought the rune items you could get from them was like so good but then in the future when uh, or later on in the league I realized the Konos blessing would have been like 4 billion times better because killing the hydra boss with like 30% more damage and accuracy is just absolutely insane. I don't regret picking the Xerix Wisdom at all because I think it gave me so many points and sped up a lot of the things I wanted to do in the league like getting for example 25 million in all the combat stats and like 73 million ranged experience and 50 million hit points. All of that and getting a bunch of 99s and 80 baselines. Yeah I'm not uh, sad about picking that one but I definitely regret picking Treasure Seeker as I didn't really focus mainly on doing crew scrolls in the uh, 
Twisted League anyways, compared to some other people who picked the Relic and did like 500 uh, hards, like 250 masters and stuff like that. I didn't do that at all and I probably missed out on a lot of points from that, but I just prefer doing PVMing. So in the future leagues I will definitely pick more PVM oriented relics than uh, like Treasure Seeker and stuff like that. But as this is the end of the uh, Twisted League series, I hope you guys did enjoy it and uh, if you did, please leave a like on this last video. And my future content is about clue scrolls, a lot of it. I have one series which is uh, the goal of getting 100 million clue scroll tab and it's currently at like 18 million I think. So if you want to see that in the future, make sure to, su to subscribe and see when I post those videos. And I also have a bossing series on the works. So I am going to uh, do some nice things with uh, PVMing on the uh, normal account as well. It is uh, like 112 combat level. So if you're a new viewer here, then uh, definitely check those videos out and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy them. So anyways, as I said, this is the last Twisted League video. Hope you guys did enjoy the series and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.